two reasons I'm excited today. First of all, I get to demonstrate on an amazing piece of hardware, the HP Z800. This is the exact system I use at home in my studio. The Z800 has 16 cores. We've got 24 gigs of RAM in this machine. But you know what? You can put up to 192 gigabytes of RAM. If you think uh, After Effects is, is slow, wait till you see it on this Z800. It's wicked fast and everybody wants After Effects to be fast. Okay, second reason I'm excited, I get to show you the brand new Adobe Media Encoder 5.5. We've got some amazing updates, lots of speed, and we're gonna just zoom through some of these After Effects comps. I'm not gonna use the render queue inside After Effects. Instead, I'm going to use Adobe Media Encoder. The footage that we're using is 10-bit 422 full HD quality. And we've got live keying with Keylight, and I'm gonna be exporting out multiple versions. Let's go have a look and see how my project is set up. We got help from our wonderful guys here at Adobe TV. They're my uh, little stand-in cast here. I wanted to show four separate output iterations. So in this comp, I've got someone in the front and a background color, and we've got that duplicated each time. So I'll be turning on and off each one of these layers, and you can see that they're being keyed out live with key light. Okay, so I'll choose File, and save. I've now saved this project to disk. What's sitting on the disk right now is the state that this comp is sitting in. So that's what you gotta remember. That's what it is. So instead of going to the render queue, I'm gonna jump over to Media Encoder. Here's your first look at Adobe, Adobe Media Encoder 5.5. You can see that we now have these twist up little areas in here. We've got watch folders, which by the way, I'm not gonna get into them, but watched folders can each have their own independent settings of how they're encoded. You li literally drop in a file and it will output to a certain folder named based on what you want to a certain codec. In the queue here, we can add any of the media files that we have, drag and drop, but instead of doing that, I'm going to choose file, add After Effects composition and I'm going to be using the composition that I currently have open, which I named AE versions. You'll notice that it's connecting to Dynamic Link Server and it's showing me all of the different versions. So the comp that I want is called versions. I'll click OK and it loads inside here. I'm going to output to a certain format. I'm going to output to a certain location and by default, uh, right now we have it turned off. So a media encoder, you can tell it to start in 10 seconds or two minutes or however you want. Right now it's waiting for me to push the button up here and when I push start queue, you'll see I get a beautiful big preview, lots of great feedback on what's encoding. So here we are, we're encoding this version. While this is encoding, you see how wicked fast it is on the Z800. I'm gonna come back into After Effects, turn on a different version, File, Save, go back to Media Encoder, right click, choose Duplicate, and now it's going to use the last one saved on the disk, which is going to be Bob. And there he is, he's coming in, number two. Once that's started, I'll come back to After Effects, turn that one off, again, Save, back to Media Encoder, right click, Duplicate, and you'll see that one will start to encode. Remember, these are pretty big files. Wicked fast, there we go. Turn that off. Turn the last one on. File, save. Back to Media Encoder. Duplicate. And now I've got my four versions output just like that. Look at that. Incredible. Amazing, fast speed. Media Encoder is really, really intelligent. It understands how to, to manage the memory. The last thing I wanna tell you that's important about Media Encoder is that it will remember all these iterations. It keeps them sitting there. So tomorrow when someone says, we need to output version one or version two in a different format, no problem. I just duplicate it and then choose a different output preset. I don't even have to launch After Effects in the background. 
because what's happening is when you see dynamic link server load inside media encoder, it's basically a version of After Effects that's in the background. So tomorrow, just start up media encoder, hit make me a new version, and it will just spit it out. And if you happen to have the speed and power of an HP Z800, well, then you're not going to have to wait around. In fact, I had to get back to After Effects pretty quick because the, the renders were happening so fast. So get out there. Let's start using media encoder instead of that render queue inside After Effects and make sure you can send out all your versions. Mm -hmm.